All right, first off, we'll talk about the plants included in this pack. There is a large beech tree, which we've been referring to as a hero prop or hero asset, meaning it has a relatively high tri count. This one's 22K. So this is a tree that you'd want to use for a focal point if you're going to use it, um, and not necessarily for creating an entire forest. You could. Um, but you only you will know the parameters of your game and what you can get away with. Uh, we are including some long grass. And then the bulk of the plants are the herbs. And there are ripe versions and harvested versions. So this one right here, this is what we call bitter cronilla. This version has all of its leaves and all the berries. And this one same branches it, they look identical everything except for this one's missing uh, a few of the leaves and the berries and that goes for all of them uh, the mushroom same same kind of um, same exact mushrooms on the small ones these larger ones are missing indicating here on the right that they've been harvested goes with these full version harvested version version harvested version and then we also have dried versions of these herbs as well so here's the you know we have the live bitter cronilla over here we have the hanging dried actually has a different drier looking material and same with the the uh, bluebell here's the harvested version dragon fern harvested version and then also there's not a plant version of this, but there's a hanging version, just the garlic, harvest the garlic cloves. So you could you could set up a blueprint for this so that the player can interact with them and get some items. Here are the items down here that you would pick off those plants if you were to set that up. Got a flower, bulb, mushroom, leaf, leaf and berry. Good variety there. All right, those are the plants. There are a few different ingredients we included in this pack, and those ingredients can be used in the barrels, in these ingredient bins, as well as in the bowls. So um, let's go ahead and find those in our content browser. We have uh, pepper blend, soul sand, ether pearls, ink, and mushroom curd. Now, these can be swapped out with any of your own tiling textures if you want. These specifically are set up uh, uniquely for these props, but tiling textures would work here. So you just drag and drop to switch it up. And then you would also have to make sure that the LEDs materials align with those new materials as well. So the barrels themselves have a full version, half full version, and an empty version. And uh, you can use whatever material you want in these. The bowls um, have three different materials for the, the bowl. Essentially, there's two bowls. There's a large bowl and a small bowl. And they have a full version and, a, and a, an empty version. So empty, empty, full, full. Now, if you, drag, you just drag one of those in, that's what you're going to get. But you can put whatever ingredient you want in. Um, the ones we have are set up with parallax on them, so they look um, relatively good. Got some nice deformation on the surface. And then you can also change the, the uh, bowl material. There's three of those. There's the apothecary, medicine, and alchemy bowls. So there's the alchemy, there's the medicine, and the default apothecary. Um, all right, so that's the ingredients. And like I said, you could you could make your own material, um, like this ink material. It's just tiling tiling black ink material, and it works just fine. And you could put it here, you could put it there. Simple, simple. All right, 